Well, it is still the dead of winter, but hopefully storms are only a month or two away. It's about this time that I really start to get tired of winter. But I have to say this off season has been a bit more relaxed than the one I had last year, um, mostly regarding that project I mentioned in the last video. But I've had some time to reflect and think about what it is exactly I'm doing out here and doing with this channel. And I got to thinking, you know, storm chasing is really one of the last few expressions of freedom in this country. You know, there's, there's no fees, there's no licenses, registrations, permits. You can just go out there and chase storms. You can drive pretty much wherever you want, as long as it's not private property. Hell, even some storm chasers treat traffic laws as optional. You know, I've seen videos of chasers blowing through stop signs and passing on intersections and just doing all kinds of reckless stuff. And you even have the freedom to put yourself in some really dangerous situations. Last year in particular was pretty bad for that. Chasers taking chances and getting really close to not being with us anymore. So point is you can treat this hobby this profession whatever you want to call it really any way you want it there's no gatekeepers the only thing really prohibiting you is the cost and you know I, I understand that not everyone can chase at the level that I do and honestly you probably shouldn't there's a lot of risk on the line you know not only physical risk but financial risk and it's not something anyone should take lightly or take for granted and I'm also reminded that for me anyway you may not have a whole lot of time left to do this you know I'm not getting any younger and you just never know what circumstances could come up, either health-wise or, you know, financially. So that's why I'm out here in 2024 really trying to make this the best storm chasing year of my life. And there are circumstances even beyond my own that give me some pause. You know, it's... The state of this country and the election this year you know there's there's a lot of unknowns that could disrupt storm chasing and i don't mean to sound like a, a doomsday or give panic and i'm definitely not here to talk politics but you just never know what's going to happen <laughs> so don't wait around if there's something you want to do go out there and do it experience it don't wait for it to be perfect. Just be responsible. That's the number one piece of advice I can give if storm chasing is something you're interested in. You know, do your research. Start out with somebody else, someone that's experienced. And you don't have to travel hundreds or thousands of miles away. You can do it in your own backyard. I did it that way for years. And even after I got a license in a vehicle, I stayed within a couple counties of home until I built up that experience and that courage to advance further and further in pursuit of this is what I do. And there's the freedom piece. There's the actual pursuit, you know, hunting that that great shot, that experience, being in a place that few people will ever find themselves, at least by choice. <laughs> I don't know. It's experiencing this great planet and this extreme weather that we have. 
not to be cliche, it's, it's not just that, the destination, but it's the journey, it's that freedom that just pulls me out there. I don't want to discount, you know, the purpose that one has for their family, even for the, the work that they do. But storm chasing really is my personal purpose in life. It may sound idiotic to some of you, but it just is what it is. Can't let it go. And so hopefully we'll find some just incredible experiences along the way this year. And as always, thanks for putting up with me, listening to my little fireside or I guess bedside chat here. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Tell them, chase on, my friends.